Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Infinity Design is one of the biggest theme in the jewelry design industry. So today I would like to show you how to create a heart shape, create an infinity sign, and adding a chain on it. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so for this pendant, we're gonna start in at the front view. And we're gonna draw any curve that pass the construction point at the green one. And we're gonna draw any of the heart that we like. Notice that this is may not as smooth as you want it. You can always use the smooth command and to make it nice and rounded there. Okay. And then just kind of edit it a little bit to find the best shape that you like. I always like it a little bit puffy. Okay, so now you have this one, we can just simply mirror to the other side by mirror command, type it zero, and uh, holding your shift key and it will get something like this. After that, you can simply pick up both of them and we just wanted to trim any things just past the uh, center point. All right, and again, I like to have everything rounded. Um, we can do two way. Uh, you can rebuild directly. So let's join it and rebuild and see the result first. Okay, so we want to keep the same point, for example. And then uh, as you can see, it's getting a little bit rounded and just need to make sure the degree is three. And what it does is kind of evenly out the shape that you have. Uh, for some reason, I feel like those two is a little bit coming too much i like it to be puff so we'll get something like this all right so that will be our point uh the second thing is we need to create that infinity look um simple so we want to use the art tool and to create something look like this all right it can be bigger smaller depends on your design and i would like to have something go like this way and I want to have that mirror to the other side. Let's go type it zero here, mirror to the other side, and we'll get something like this. Okay, now I need to have this end over here coming into this end there. So we are going to use a command for um, blend curve. We're going to blend in between this point to this point, and we're going to blend this point, um, again, blend from this end to this end. All right, so we get something like this. Don't forget to join them and to get something like this. All right, now it is hard to see which one is which. So I simply just gonna turn in one of them in different colors so that, that we know which one is which. If you look at the control point, where we have it connected, we have the point close to it, which is good. That's what we need to have. And if you click on this one, it doesn't, right? So we actually need to rebuild this curve. And with the rebuild command, I want to rebuild 16 point as well. And then I have the point close to that. I have a point that I can edit. All right. So now it's a little bit tricky. You have to look at carefully. For the red one, on this one, I want this go up. And we don't need to have it go up too much. So I just want to have it go up one. So this one coming into the, uh, the black one, then you are going up. And of course, this need to go in down under the black one. So it's going to be moving down minus one. Okay. Then this one coming over here and come back on there. Now we want to do opposite. So the red one was up here. So now this red one is going down here. On opposite side, this one need to go up. So we're going to go up one and this one will need to go down minus one. All right. So this is just roughly, I mean, it's a little bit kinky there, but that's okay. We're going to change it. All right. So let's see if that work fine. Uh, simply, we can just use the pipe command and say uh, radius is one. And then you're going to see this is going up. This is going down up and down so that one look all right all right so now we need to adjust this one instead so let's come back with the curve now with this curve 
it's going whatever going up you want to go uh, opposite direction right so this point and this point we want to go minus one and close to this point in the opposite side of this point we want to go positive one and that minus positive is just the direction right so let's double make sure if this flow better let's go ahead to just pipe it to get something like this so now you get this in and out look over there all right so now we have this we want actually want to decide what kind of profile that we needed i'm gonna use the conic corner snapping into this endpoint and uh, we want to snapping actually let me do it one more time we want a rectangle um, corner uh, I want to do the corner corner but I want to center so I can snapping into this point and I want to do something about this size and coming down a little bit like this all right let's give it a try and see how that look we're gonna sweep one rail this is the rail this is the cross section and want to double make sure it's not folding anywhere there okay and that's cool click OK. If that were for you, I'm going to bring up this curve right there and rotate it 90 degree. And we need to move in this center back to um, the quadrant there. But there's no center because it's not a circle. So I'm going to draw a line over the, there on my perspective. And I'm going to move in both of them. Uh, use a move command snapping into the midpoint and snapping into the quadrant right there. So now we don't need this guy right here. Let's give it a try. Let's use a sweep one rail. This is the rail, this is the cross section, and we'll get something like this. And for very last one is making a chain. Uh, to make a chain, if you uh, watch my last week video, that you can have this uh, Jewel Free uh, app for, for download for free. And one of the thing is for making the chain. So I'm going to use this opportunity to show you how they work. We can creating uh, one of the element on your chain. So let's go ahead to creating something like this. That's one of my chain. And we're going to click this command for FJ chain maker. It will ask you to select the curve for the chain. So we're going to select this one and select this element. And then we're going to click on the M moving somewhere here. All right. So now it say it's the distance and uh, that's changing to two. And you'll see it is a little bit too much. And that's changing back to 1.5 maybe. And you want to see if it is connected. Now it's like a little bit uh, too much there. So let's go ahead to do 1.2 and kind of adjust the uh by changing the number so again i think 1.3 should work most of the time we don't 3d printing it's just for the rendering so if the rendering makes sense that will be fine and then you can choose to rotate it you know a certain degree that you want and then here we go this is our chain uh, for the other side we're simply just going to mirror to the other side to be something like that and take a look on the render view and you can always change this in different color quickly to show you how to uh, adding the color select any of the object that you have and right at your property you have this is called material and you can uh, come back to the material and choose let's say i want metal it will automatically reset for this uh, shiny metal and we wanted to choose the uh, go tone so then we'll have the go tone if you think learning jewelry kit is just about doing a 3d model that's totally wrong you want to understand what is the manufacturing process and that is covered in my jewelry cat master class wanted to know more about my jewelry cat master class sign up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me let me help you to understand manufacturing process with your jewelry cat design hope to see you in the meeting the link is in the description below Thank you for watching. I'll see you next.